bunch of water real quick, like real fast. We're just gonna be covering as much water as possible. I'm gonna try this for a minute. Hey, Mr. Frog. Mr. Got something. Yeah. Calm down, buddy. I don't need a hook in me. All right, fish number one down. Coming off a of crankbait. A little 2.5 Lucky Craft. Oh, got one. Yep. I don't know. Oh, no. Sorry. Number two. They're hitting it, though. It's a good sign. He was, like, halfway out, though. Chatterbait. Give it a shot, I guess, yeah. Just in case. Over top of this branch, pretty good. Watch this. I don't think it was big, but something came up for it. It worked. He's hiding under that tree. I just retied my jig, and instead of that tiny paca, I went ahead and threw on the Yamamoto flapping hog. A little bit bigger profile. I think they'll be able to see it a little bit better in the darker water. Ace has gotten a couple bites. I haven't really gotten any yet, so I'm gonna see if the bigger trailer is gonna make a difference. Got him? Huh? No, where's he at? Man, they like that little crankbait though. Yeah, here, I'll deal with this. Cool. Huh? It's a careful. Come on. Yeah, buddy. That's a good one right there, buddy. That's a that's a giant five. ace. That's at least five, yeah. Nice. Ace is getting this fish set up in the live hole. That's like a five and a half pounder, first one of the day. Here we go, filling it up. Big girl. In lake, shallow flat. That's I mean we can fish that whole entire bank right there. It's the same exact thing all the way to the splits. Yeah. Oh also, he smoked that crankbait. Yeah, it was way in his mouth. I think we're going to focus on crankbaits because that's Ace's fourth fish on a crankbait. First keeper, but yeah, they seem to be crushing them. So Ace caught that fish at about 7.30. It's 8 o'clock right now. Working on the limit. Keeper. Yeah, you keeper. Hold on, let me just... That's funny, did you hear me? I was like, I thought you were getting ready to slam it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, easy. Fish number two. Yeah, your buddy. No, he just, uh, I just kind of looked at my line and it was running off to the left. Shallow fish. Black and blue. Bassman jig. All right, we're on a bluff wall right now. We're going to flip this pretty quick till we get up to the flatter part of the bank up here. That's a big one. He's right here. There we go. Look at how fat he is. That's a two, two and a half. Good work, On the jig? On the Bassman jig. Black and blue bass man jig. Is it dirty? Yes. That's what we're looking for right now. Just kind of moving that bluff wall pretty quick. In order to flip that grass and Ace just crushed that two pounder. Nice. Was he in the grass or like right outside of it or? Right on the edge of it. Okay, cool. Grass, rock. Bluff wall. Bluff wall grass. Remember that because we can find plenty of that. Said, let's go find some grass. Grass to fish in, guys. Calm down. 
All right, Froggy, let's go. Here she comes. Be ready with the net. <laughs> what the hell, man? Do you see it? It missed it. That looked like a good fish. Definitely a keeper. They're in this shallow grass, though. No doubt. But I feel like going back through this little area back here, that's where they'll bite a frog, man. I want to throw the Cinco, but I really, really want to throw the frog. Got it. No, it's not big, but it's keeper. Right here. Oh, actually, maybe it is big. It's big. It's a good one. Get in there. Here we go. That's a four. Yeah, it's a four. Thanks, man. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's fish number four in the boat. That's like a three and a half. Probably close to four pounder. Very happy we came back here. Yeah, me too. Caught that on the live target frog. That one, that one, dude, that one hit it and looked the same size as the one that I missed earlier. Frogs and jigs all day. Thanks, man. We needed that. More of those. That positive bass attitude. Okay, let's go. On another shallow grass flat, a little bit further down lake than we were. We're gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna try a chatterbait ace of starting off with the crankbait. Might whip the frog around a little bit, flip a jig, see what they want. Need a little bit of frog positive reinforcement. I need to see you get bit or catch one. Now I'll turn it again. I see a nice football. Oh, oh, one just hit it, yeah. Oh, he's a nice one too. Get in the net, Bubby. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, he'll keep. All right, I was just saying to Ace, like I need to see you get bit on that frog and I'm gonna pick it back up. Sure enough, he did. That's fish number five. Nice catch, man. I'm telling you, man, shallow grass flats seem to be working today. Maybe we should got him. Nice. That's a keeper. There he is. Ace got him. He's gonna keep. Boom. Twelve fifteen. Ace's fourth keeper of the day. Twelve fifteen. We have our limit. Probably. What do you think? 14 and a half pounds? Say 15 pounds. Oh, 15 pounds, yes. So we have 15 pounds in the boat, and we have about three and a half hours to upgrade. So Ace is going to catch another pig. I'm just going to keep trying my best. And what are we going to do? Keep fishing shallow. We found them on shallow flats, so that's what yeah. we're going to stay with. Yeah, the majority of our fish, actually all of our fish, really, except for one that was caught on a bluff wall around grass, have been on shallow flats in the grass, on jigs, crankbaits, frogs, and yeah, that's about it. But I'm gonna keep doing this the rest of the day and hopefully run into a couple big ones. I don't even own one <laughs> I do need to get one though, it's about that time. You had a ghost, right? Yeah. I think I can send it in and get it replaced as a bite. Okay. Got it, yep. Yep. There Brother. we go, that's a call. He's like what? Call number one. Definitely. Two and a half. Yeah, he was way up there on the bank. All right, call number one. Okay, so that probably got us an extra, yeah, a pound at least. Pound and a half. Bass man jig. Check out your bass man jigs. Where's that juice? Mm, 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 mm. Pappy's favorite. <laughs> got him. Saw the hat. That's a nice one. Good one? Yep. Keep it down. You got this, dude. Mm -hmm. Slow. Oh, yeah. Nice catch. Right when I put the juice on. <laughs> right when you put the juice on. Oh, he just couldn't handle the juice. It's another right. two and a half. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was him for sure. See you later, call number two. All right, we are sticking to bluff walls the rest of the day. We got an hour to fish. We need to call one that's about a pound and three quarters. So hopefully that happens. Good one. Please let there be a fish on this last cast. Let's go. And that's all, folks. What's up? We did all right. Seven, probably like 16 or 17 pounds. Got more than that. Yeah. Number. Three. 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 Oh no, come back, buddy. That's good. Nineteen point three zero. Nineteen point three zero. It's about time you guys got on a good one. <laughs> Five, 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 Took it up to the top parking lot, got everything cleaned up and ready to go, and then we got a text from our buddy John saying, hey, come back down here and pick up some money. You guys came in third place. So, very unexpected. We were you know, thinking we were in the top five or 10, but we ended up coming in third. So it was an awesome day, great finish. Ace killed it all day. I helped out a little bit with a couple fish, and we were fishing our favorite way to catch them just shallow on jigs and frogs. And then we also got a couple a little bit deeper on bluff walls, but yeah, I mean, great turnout. It was a lot of fun, made 180 bucks, so you can never be too upset about that. Yeah, this was filmed 12 days ago. I'm a little bit behind on editing, but I've been doing a bunch of fishing. So here is a little sneak peek on what's to come. What's up, what's Cornell? up crew, what's going on guys? <laughs> guys, you know Cornell from YouTube Fish and Vids. We are gonna be fishing on the Potomac today. Musky hunt number 17. Fishing yeah, with a no, ringer today. It's me, it's really me. My yeah, buddy Steven, you guys remember he fished with us on the Shenandoah for musky. He had that one come up and swipe on his jerk bait and he freaked out. <laughs> and I also have some plans for this week. I'm actually leaving for California tomorrow and I'm going to fish the Delta for three days with Joey Price and Josh. I'm gonna put a link in the description below for their channel, for Josh, Joey's channel. And then I'm heading to Vegas for three days after that. Gonna be playing a World Series of Poker event. And I'm gonna try to vlog that as best as I can. I mean, I definitely can't be filming too much inside of the casino, but we'll see how it turns out. And I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope you're excited for what's to come. See you soon.